Hello, and welcome to an Apple Day with Dr. Amanda. Today is Focus Friday, and I am, don't know about you, but I'm just so excited. So again, if you're on, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend for YouTube. We had an amazing week with Javier Sanchez, who's a one-on-one -on -one fitness coach and personal trainer. You can find him on YouTube. And we also had Tana Ajoku, who also is another trainer. And they both talked about their wellness journey, but also a healthy mindset. So between Javier talking about the Atomic Habits book, and then also Tana talking about Battlefield of Mind, and then really bringing some joy and cracking me up with different stories. We definitely talked about overcoming negative mindsets and how to do that. And also some of the tips that they have. And again, talking about nutrition, talking about mindset, talking about everything that you have coming in your mind, out of your mind, and everything we pour into ourselves, all matters for health and wellness. So no matter where you are in your journey, I'm just proud of you. Just know that you can start at any time and continue. So I am so excited. Hopefully if you're listening and tuning in, know that on Focus Friday, we talk about the week. I get to really think about all the amazing content that we had. And so we focused really on health and wellness and really overcoming mindsets. So, you know, Tana and Javier, again, both have business. Now they had this story of looking at how do I overcome a mindset? How do I get healthy? health and wellness in my mind and in my habits and every day and continue to evolve. So they're not just talking just personal wellness, but also that emotional overall health and wellness and how that plays in every day. So I really love that they did that unknowingly. There are two different guests with two different perspectives, but both brought different important light to the topic of health and wellness. Then again, big ab I'm a big advocate for that emotional and physical wealth because they go hand in ha hand and really how trauma plays into that as well. So I really love this week. I thought it was amazing. Hopefully you get to tune in. And if not, episode 12 and 14 will be on. This is our 15th episode, which I cannot believe. Three whole weeks. It's amazing. I have amazing guests coming up. And actually, you know, we've talked really, we started with how to have hard conversations and leadership. Then we went into how to overcome anxiety and depression with different tools. And now we're in a health and wellness and really looking at that physical wellness. But next week kind of brings everything back again, because it's about how to overcome you know, sexual trauma, sexual abuse, and really also the, the rejection and abandonment and different things that come along with that. So we have amazing guests as well. And so, you know, I just want to bring that in because we have that addiction, that recovery, all those things are coming up. So there's a series of different people sharing their stories. And so I really, really love this week. And some other things that I love to do on my health and wellness journey. It really is just those affirmations. I know Tana talked about it. I know Javier and Javi had talked about some of that. And then also every day, just being thankful and reminding yourself where you are and that nutritional piece and also continuing to learn and grow, you know, learning what do you like. I love how Javi brought that one-to-one -one approach where every individual person brings in their personality and what works for them and how they want to move forward. And I love how Tana, you know, really talked about that mindset shift and even just how she continued to move forward and even how you get can get stuck in different patterns and how you can get yourself out. So I love that they're passionate about that. And again, it is a mindset. Anytime we do health and wellness or physical health, and sometimes it can be a journey. I mean, not can be, it is a journey. So I just want to encourage you here today, you know, again, for our Focus Friday, it's usually a very short day. It's a day to really look at an amazing speakers, really thinking about midweek. I talk about wisdom, about some of our speakers, and I talk about some strategies. But today it was really talking about some different tips and tools that you can use. One thing, you know, that I always do is everybody always cracks up, even my classes. I do drink a gallon of water a day. And on the days that I don't, which are few and far between these days, I feel it. You know, your body needs that absorption of water. I also drink tea. Now, I don't drink it every day. I don't really like a lot of caffeinated things. And I know a lot of times people food prep. Now, I do plant-based. And I can tell, you know, when, if I choose once in a while to do something that's not I just find that my hormones my overall body and my overall being I do so much better with the plant base and again everybody is different I used to do it but I didn't have the nutritional understanding so I kind of messed it up when I was younger and I just really wasn't a good place you know I may have done really well and was working out but I just really didn't know what I know now and if I had my 20 year old self I would tell her I love you and I'm so proud and you're amazing. 
and you know it wouldn't have been as hard on her so i'm sure there's many things we could tell our former self but i learned a lot then and i learned everything that i learned then that i didn't apply i'm applying now and sometimes that's wisdom and also you know talking to different people and having mentors or coaches like they were talking about and continuing to challenge yourself and grow and so you know i do that and i also just kind of keep track of things you know how am i doing and i used to not always like to have the same thing but sometimes that helps when you're just starting out and then you can shift some things and everybody's different you know some people can hang with that i like to have variety and again you know just knowing what you need that'll help you get your results but knowing that sometimes there is a process but in it just being thankful because as you go through i just heard from one of my mentors today that in the word process is pro so as you go through your journey become a pro at an expert at what you've gone through and how you're navigating through so I just wanted to jump on here today. I am also by my window, so it looks a little different, but I wanted to say hello to you all. I wanted to say you're amazing, incredible, and continue on your journey wherever you are. And join us next week because we're going to be talking about sexual trauma and how to overcome that and really how to overcome those negative patterns. And I have Tiffany and I also have Pastor Elaine, and they're both incredible. Tiffany has an incredible story. She's incredible. You know, tips from her own life and I love how Elaine is definitely someone who has an amazing story and talks has this amazing thing that she even said my name in about how we are made and how incredibly designed we are and I love it so again you want to be here and the whole point of this show is to bring on different people who have overcome and are it's a safe place for people who've overcome different stories different tips and techniques and i love that i love that everybody's bringing something to the table and everybody is able to share their stories so that they can empower you and help you understand what they've gone through so that you can be the best version of you so i am so glad you were here like share subscribe be well and i'll see you next week Take care. Thanks for stopping on on Apple Day with Dr. Amanda. And if you can, if you're excited about this, because I'm excited about this, I would love to have people send me pictures with an apple. No, can you know, like maybe your dog or maybe, you know, holding apple on their head or juggling or something funny so we can start putting them in the beginning of the show. I think it'd be a lot of fun. So just remember that and make sure you bring it, you send it in. Bye.